Greetings fellow humans, my name is Flailbot, and uh, today I cracked open the old tracks and noticed that there were a couple of exciting new things. There is this nighttime environment, which uh, is pretty great, because the train gets a headlight, and there's stars, and um... I also noticed a couple of new, nice-looking objects that you could place. Now, this was kind of the thing that I was most excited about in this game uh, when I started playing it. was just the ability to create places, little sort of villages and stuff. Exactly the kind of thing you'd create with your own at-home wooden train set, just different, big, no limitations. And, um, yeah, so when I popped open the items menu and found a couple new things, I was pretty excited about it. So I'm going to just lay out a basic track here. Not quite sure what I'm looking for Oops. in terms of, <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what I'm building here, but that's okay. We'll make something of it. And we'll exit over here. It's a very sort of interconnected train set. All right, so here's the good stuff. First, we're going to start with fireworks. Now, these go off on their own after a couple of minutes, or not minutes. And, uh, that's just super cute. And, you can set them up with a trigger, so when you drive past them, they explode. Right? So you can well, do whatever you want, but, uh... Ah, so gratifying. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking maybe you could run by real quick with a down slope and trigger some and then loop back up and try to get as high as you could to get like where the explosion was happening and drive through uh, the, well, through the explosion. Um, yeah, I think that might be difficult. Other things... These are just like the auto boxes, or the autos, they just shoot off three at a time, which is fun. I just, <laughs> yeah, my son wanted to play tracks today, and we started playing, and then we discovered the, we made a really big complicated train track, and then we discovered the fireworks, and the rest of the day was just, we're going to put fireworks everywhere. Uh, there's a couple of things to make your little villages and stuff more robust um, so new types of fences so you can build like the graveyard a spooky graveyard with spooky jack-o-lanterns and a fairy tree I'm not sure which part of this is particularly fairy like but it glows and is just absolutely gorgeous and um, of course uh, there's just more buildings I haven't even tested out the barbershop, but this hospital is, as you can see, I haven't tested out a couple of these things, but this hospital is, is just nice. It's huge. Like, compared to, like, one of the houses, we have just a couple random houses. It's a rather robust building. Throw down some lights. Right? This might not work as well as it is, uh... As it did during the daytime, but I where there we go. I put some benches down in front of the front of the hospital. I mean, that's just pretty normal, right? Oops. Maybe those people sitting there want to have some some light the 
build a park. Oh, and the windmill. The windmill over here. The windmill is huge. Not only is it huge, wait for it. It turns. <laughs> ah. All right. Let's put down some stations. The hospital's going to need a station, right? I mean, people can't... Uh... There's no cars. There's no streets. So people are just going to have to take the train. And, uh... Yeah, well, the only thing that's kind of missing is, like, pathways for for people to walk on, but it's still a work in progress, so what are you going to do? Um, I think that one of the reasons we don't see these more complicated additional systems is because they require additional sort of layers. So for example, the current layers you have where like the train goes, it stays on the thing, their passengers should be picked up and dropped off. Those are the only layers we've got, and the passengers will just teleport sort of where they need to go, like regular spawn, bloop. They're gonna eventually walk. Do they not walk anymore? Oh, maybe they don't walk across train tracks anymore. So the additional system that they would require, although I guess it looks like it's being implemented, is a way to determine pathing for the little wormy guys. Um, which I suppose is partially in there because they do walk around. They don't just go straight through. Um, I wonder what happens if we put another platform over here. Whoa. Are these guys gonna... Okay. Neato. Train, hold on. Oh, my train doesn't have any passenger cars. Um, we had this problem before, but this time I know where they are. All right, train. Hold your horses. That's nice. Nice people over here. Probably are gonna want a barber shop, wouldn't you think? Just in general. <sighs> the one side turns. Adorable. Right, and the lights aren't on, obviously, because the barber shop is closed at night. That makes sense. What about the police station? Bloop, with a helicopter pad. Hmm. Well, I just need to get across the hospital. Next to the train station. Throw down some fences. I don't I just kinda wanna show off some things. Whoa, this is huge mungus. It's good to see that they recycle. I just wanna show off some of these newer uh gorgeous little Little add-ons they did. The fairy um, tree is just <laughs> no way. <laughs> well, there you have it. Now it's your job to buy this game and make the place songs. Obviously, you'll need to establish a uh, speed check, right, to make sure that the train's not going too fast. Ready? Don't ask me how that works. And, uh, whoa, we're going so fast. Aside from the speed check, if you need to speed up a part, you'll probably want to add some boosters. No boosters. Boop, boop. Beep, boop, boop. Booster. There we go. Makes your train go faster. Rumor has it. Where's my train? Alright, let's watch.
So does that doesn't change my set speed? No, it just boosts my speed temporarily. Cool. <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to make a little episode showing off the new um, the new stuff they they had because it's all just kind of cute. Um, that's sort of the whole crux of this game, I guess, is that it's not it is simple. But it's just a sort of elegant and simple enjoyment that, that you can have from just building, exploring, creating. You know, there's no there's no pressure. You just, does it look good? Do you like it? Good. Put it there. Do you not like it? Don't put it there. Not complicated. Do you know how to play music instruments? Make a song. Preferably a train-related song. So we're going to drop off these passengers, and then, um... Yeah. I don't think I saved what I worked on earlier today. So... I think we'll call it here. I hope you guys check out Tracks. It is... It's just long day, busy, the kids don't want to fall asleep, finally I do, grab yourself a glass of wine, and just decide to be not exactly a kid again, but just decide that that's, that's a level of sort of responsibility and risk you want to engage with is none. You just want to explore, create, and not, uh, not worry. That's what Trax is for. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do pick it up, I have no idea how much it costs anymore. I think it's ten dollar unit money, euro, pound, dollars, I don't know. Um it should definitely be on Steam. It's also on itch.io, so check it out. Thanks for watching. I've been Flailbot, and this has been Tracks, the train set game, nighttime edition. <laughs>